How are you doing today, folks? So today I have another unboxing for you from a secondary market. Um, as always, I don't know what this is. Um, I buy, sell, and trade so many different things for this channel um, that it all just kind of blurs together. Uh, so I don't remember what this is or who I bought it from or literally anything. So this is a first impressions of the truest kind. Um, as always, hopefully you enjoy. Sorry for the app off camera action. As I've stated in other videos, I really need to sharpen my warlock. This thing is uh, getting really dull. Um, I don't remember ordering anything from Lynch recently. I'm pretty sure I remember that. I have a couple of his uh, clips, um, or clips on, um, god damn it, a couple of his pry tools, um, very, very solid stuff, but uh, yeah, um, I don't remember ordering anything from Casey Lynch. Oh shit, alright, well first off, uh, anybody who ships knives, please protect your products. Um, I can't really tell if this is damaged or not on camera, but uh, man, this, you just imagine how much this is bouncing around. That makes me nervous. So, oh yeah, there's a little bit of damage. So the pictures I saw of this, because I do remember this piece now, um, the Cherokee was super fresh, or Cherokee Trio, I don't, I don't know how you say that, honestly. Um, the, yeah, this clearly got bounced around in the package a bit. That's unfortunate. Kind of a uh, distressed finish um, now. So it reminds me of the uh, Microtex. How they have that like kind of beat up looking, distressed red finish. Action's good. The uh, the blade I already knew about. He showed me that in pictures, so that's nothing. That's not anything having to do with the box. That's just part of use. Um, this is a piece customized by Fanatic Edge. Um, purchased this from a seller who I guess is no longer happy with it. Um, you know, it's fine. Whoa. Okay. Uh, spoiler alert. I love this knife. Um, I actually have one already that I've been beating the crap out of. It's in my pocket right now. So this one, it does not drop shut. You kind of have to shake it. This thing almost cut the shit out of me because as soon as you actually that bar it just slams okay i was not expecting that that was close also a little comparison to the two um these are both uh cpm m4 obviously one has been customized and the other is just stock so i'm not trying to beat up on the seller too much um definitely seems like a good guy and i totally understand mistakes happen um, I might mess them about it. I might not. I'm honestly not sure right now. So do a couple size comparisons. If I can get this piece of paper off the goddamn mat. Um, this is the, uh, well, it's a bench made full size reptilian with some uh, canvas micarta scales or linen micarta. So definitely bigger than the uh, full size reptilian. It's not really surprising that the Contigo has a four inch blade. So. PM2 size comparison, clearly bigger than the PM2. Uh, let's do something ridiculous. The heater. The most ridiculous, gaudy, awful, yet awesome piece of shit I own. Yeah, it's definitely smaller than the heater, but that's not really all that surprising. Though you change the aspect ratio a bit and it looks bigger. It's so funny how that works. So let's try doing this. Yeah, the heater's definitely bigger. Um, it also has a much fatter handle. Uh, I actually really like the, the Contigo though. That's why I bought a second one. Um, we'll do one more. Uh, this is the uh, Paragon Knives Warlock, my unboxing knife, which, man, 
I was trying to do the whole metal complex thing. I'm not going to ever sharpen this knife. It'll just be used for unboxing. Well, uh, I don't know if the mermaid steel on the Boker Mermaid um, on his channel is just uh, superior somehow to this uh, S30V blade. But he's been using that. Ugh, excuse me. But he's been using that for uh, a long time. And I've been using mine for, uh, what's like eight months now? Maybe less. I'm not really sure. But uh, primarily just for unboxing because this is highly illegal in California. So cool, but highly illegal. So overall impressions. Um, I can't really say first impressions because, again, I've, I own this knife. I've had it for a pretty decent amount of time. Nothing crazy, but enough to really get a feel for it. Um, I wish it wasn't damaged. Uh I mean, I don't know if the pictures I saw um, were just edited or taken at spectacularly good angles, so it didn't really show the uh, this kind of distressed feeling to it. Um, you can kind of see it in the box, too. There's little red pieces. Uh, it's kind of hard to tell on camera. It's like little pink scrapes. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm not really picking it up on, on video, but I can see it by my naked eye. But uh, yeah, just a little distressed look. Um, it's not really my thing. Uh, you know, knives get old just in general. They'll get that way no matter what. I kind of don't really see the point in rushing it. You know, if I want a, something to look really aged, I'll buy something in copper or brass, which I have plenty of that stuff, obviously. But yeah, I would have preferred this to look a uh, pretty badass for a while longer and fresh. But, you know, it's not a huge deal, I guess. Uh, knowing how much Fanatic Edge charges for the customizations, it's probably about a $100 job, uh, maybe more. They kind of have a pretty big uh, gap in pricing. Ooh, that action is smooth. Um, so, it's about a $200 knife, uh, $100 customization job, so probably about 300 or 350 into it. A couple scratches. It's unfortunate. Wish it wouldn't have happened. It could have been very easily avoided, but it just kind of is what it is. Um, again, still not sure how I'm going to message the seller or not. I think I actually will. The more I'm looking at this, the more it kind of bothers me, and the more it's just... It just could have been avoided so easily that I just kind of have a problem with it. So, uh, yep. Um... Man, I'm, I'm sorry. This is just distracting me. I'm, I'm very unhappy with this. Anyways, um, I'm going to cut it here. Uh, as always, if you enjoyed the content, please like and subscribe. I'm very active on the comment section. If you comment, I will, will respond to you. Even if you're being a dick, I need to put that thing out there because I've had some dicks lately. I will still respond to you, probably with some sarcastic nonsense, but you'll still get my attention. I'm also on Instagram at Kyle J. Landfear with a with underscore between the uh, Kyle, the J, and the Landfear. Um, I'm a newer channel. I absolutely love this community. There's a couple of bad apples, but you know, even those bad apples, I got love for them. They all serve a purpose and it's all just out of love of knives and EDC gear and all sorts of fun stuff. So, uh, man, I genuinely love you all. Uh, please take care. Be nice to one another. Have a good day and, uh, bye now.